Good morning, friends. Today I'm showing you the ecosystems that I planted last week. The first one, because I'm on the ocean, is the salt water, the sand, the shells, some fun little sticks, and some of the plant life I got out of the ocean. It looks similar to what it looked like last week, except the water line is just a little bit lower, about half of an inch. Then over here, the pond one is amazing. Look at the line on the evaporation. That means the water's going away. It's evaporating up into the sky, up into the air, making condensation. Condensation is the accumulating. You're getting more. If you accumulate more candy, that means you get more. Like you've got two, maybe now you have 10. So accumulating means to gather. So what I found interesting, the rose petals were picked, so they are dying. See how the color is going away? The leaf is still crunchy, the moldy thing. In the water, it got mushy. The stuff outside of the water stayed firm. But look at the little lily pad plant. It's growing towards the sun. It's, gr it's grown like an inch. I put it in the sand, so it's making a difference. And I'm gonna turn it around and check this next week and see if that lily pad little plant grows towards the sun in the other direction. So let's talk about The water cycle. So we planted the water cycle, and I just talked about the evaporation where the water was going away, was evaporating up into the air. It absorbs up into the air. We've learned about absorption with sponges and things we do with sink or flow, and you know, things we do, with, we do with cotton balls, all sorts of things like that. So the water is getting absorbed into the air, creating condensation. It gets caught up in the clouds, and when it rains, that's called precipitation, and it rains back down to the earth and it creates the water pools. Just like we made the ponds and that you have the puddles that we talk about in school, uh, we stay away from the puddles in school. So that, it collects on the ground, that's the collection. And then it starts all over again with evaporation. And you can see that line. It absorbs into the air for condensation, it collects, it becomes precipitation, that's the rain, and then it comes down to collects on the ground for ponds and puddles and things like that. And then it all evaporates again and dries out because the sun is our sun energy, it's heat, it helps dry out those puddles. And that is our water cycle and it continues around and around and around.